What's going on guys? This is my first time filming. I'm a big time card collector and I figured I opened enough stuff that I would start showing what I get. And I mainly do retail. Sometimes I buy into breaks. Uh, my guys I like to watch are Run Goods. I think he's the best out there. And Hitman and Shy City. Those guys are great. So today we've got 2022 Bowman Platinum. 21-22 Topps Merlin. And then we're checking out the new 22-23 Series 1 Hockey. So I think we're going to start with that. And let's get into it. So like I said, I mainly do retail. It's what I can afford, it's easy. It's always around. So that's what I do. So let's start with our Young Gun large card, which is a Marco Rossi. It's actually pretty nice. Sorry, I've got a cat that likes to check out what I'm doing. So we'll put that there. We'll display that right there and we'll get into this. And again, I apologize if my guy Marco Marco, my cat's name is Marco, so that's fitting. He's sniffing the boxes right now, so we'll get into it. And I do like the look of this new year. They've added a little more color to the design. It used to just be like a plain black and white. So, Marco, come on, buddy. Let's get into it. So we've got a Vitek Vanacek, and I apologize if I pronounce these wrong. Andreas Johnson. Ooh, we've got a Quinn Hughes. Not bad. UD Ca Canvas, Andreas Vasilevsky. That's not a bad one. We will take that any day. That looks good. UD Canvas of one of the best goalies in the league. For those of you that want to know, I am a Detroit native. I am a Detroit fan. I'm a Detroit collector. Jason Robertson, who's having one hell of a year right now. Cal Peterson and Brock Nelson. And as we start getting through these, I'm going to kind of run through them. I'm, I like to go fast. So we've got a Connor Brown, Ryan Suter, John Merrill. And I like that this year they've got it on the bottom instead of on, the, I think it was on the left side and then Young Guns were on the right side. So I'm excited to see what the first Young Gun looks like, but what do we have here? A defense mechanism, Zach Wierenski. That's a pretty looking card. Let's check that out. That's new insert for this year. That's freaking crazy. So let's keep it going. We've got a Cole Cylinder, Tony D'Angelo, and a Jake Evans. So we're still looking for that first young gun. I think that UD canvas took the place of it. So we'll see. Got a Dazzlers here, so we're still waiting on that young gun. And as I get this going, I'll get a nicer setup. Brennan Gallagher, we've got a Vancouver Canucks Dazzlers. Who could it be? Elias Peterson? No, we got a Quinn Hughes. That's not bad. The Dazzlers this year look really nice. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. So we'll add that to the insert pile. Adam Henrique, Kyle Ocposo, Kyle Connor, and a Josh Bailey. So we've got three packs left. 
Hopefully we'll see a top young gun. No, I'm not used to it. I think I do see a young gun there. So Sonny Milano, Victor Olofsson, Got a Nikolaj Ellers, Anthony Bouvelier. Our young guns for the Blue Jackets is gonna be Trey Fix Wolanski. Not too sure about him. We'll have to look him up afterwards. Not too shabby. Capo Kakinen, another great goalie. And there's my Detroit guy, Alex Ndelkovich. Needs to do a little better. Needs to get some D in front of him. They don't play well when he's in that, unfortunately. And then Tanner Pearson. So let's take another look at this young gun. The new design is great. All that color down there. They just, they really did a good job. The back of it. So we'll see, we'll see how his career goes. And that should be it for Young Guns. I think they pretty much guarantee one, maybe two, but I think that that UD Canvas is gonna take the place of it. I don't think I see anything else. So Eric Carlson, we got a year two Lucas Raymond. I'm gonna keep that for sure. That's my guy. Got a Vasily Podolitskin. Pod Colson. I apologize for butchering that. Got an honor roll, Tuvo Teravainen. A Jurar, a Jujar Kara. Martin Nekas. Darnell Nurse. And the last card is Jakob Silverberg, who was a great defenseman for a long time. I wanted Detroit to swing a trade for him. But I'm glad they didn't. That was pre-Stevie Y era when Ken Holland was still running the show. Freaking legend. And our last pack. Let's see if we can pull one more young gun. It's not looking like it. So like this is a base pack. It's a nice card, just detail on the mask. And looks like we're ending with two Colorado and a Nick Schmaltz. And no, it's not Colorado. I got the same colors though. All right. So now that that's over, we'll uh, get rid of the trash and move on to the next box. I think we're going to go with I think to start we'll go with Merlin or Bowman. Let's go Merlin first. I love Merlin. Merlin in my opinion, are some of the nicest cards, some of the highest quality cards. It's fun to rip, it's a fun retail rip. If you go on the right days, you find them at Meyer. Sometimes Meyer's been rocking the sales lately. So, Without further ado, let's get into 21-22 Merlin. Typically, there's four cards a pack. Sometimes you'll find five. Sometimes you'll find three. It just depends on what's in it. So to start, we've got a rookie Blanco. I'm not too familiar with soccer. I just love these cards, but we did get a profit fulfilled Lionel Messi. That is an awesome looking card. Definitely going to sleeve that up afterwards. Pack number two. Now you're here, you're mainly looking for number cards. You might find an auto. 
Got a refractor on the back, a silver. So we'll see. Timothy Way, and our silver is going to be a Danielle Milan. So on to the next pack. We do have one of our refractors on the back. I think it says you can find three exclusive Aqua Prism parallels. So we have a rookie Chaloba. We have Kenneth Taylor. We have for Manchester, Jadon Sancho. We have a Mikael Oyarzabal. And our first refractor is going to be a Phil Foden for Manchester City FC. And if it is numbered, it'll be right down here. So we'll move that to the side. We'll put that with the Messi and the Malin. And we are on to our next pack. Now, a lot of times people open them up and you see, you can see the number, but I like to try to hide it. So I always open this way, keep the surprise. And so we do have a teal speckle. So we have Weston McKinney. We have Eden DeZeko. We have a rookie of Karamako Dembele. And our numbered card is a rookie. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Is Cole Palmer on the rookie numbered to 199. 48 of 199. Now these cars are absolutely amazing. The finish on them is beautiful. They're almost always clean edges. Love Merlin. Tops Merlin is some of the best. Now that's because they're in, produced in Italy. They take a little more care on their cards as opposed to the ones produced in the States. Now I have not seen a base of any of the top guys like Mbappe or Messi or Ronaldinho or Ronaldo, not Ronaldinho. He's been out of the league for a while. We have a rookie of Abde Ezelzuli. I am a, very sorry if I'm butchering these names. Marco Verratti and our refractor is going to be Emmanuel Locatelli. For Juventus. And that is the refractor right there. Just a nice silver. But if you can see, it's got like a crazy thick, thin layer that just coats these cards beautifully. Now we've got three packs left, including the one I'm opening. And let's see, we've got another one of our Aqua Prisms. We've got a Lewandowski. We've got a rookie, Luka Suchik. Just a base, but we'll take that. Got a, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Huang Ming Sun. And our Merlin is a rookie of Maiwan Baudu. For AC Monaco. It's a nice looking card. So you want your uh, parallels to be rookies, if anything. Um, afterwards, I'll use the Center Stage app. Check if anything's got any value. Alright. Second to last pack. Let's see if we can pull a top player. Oh, there's Latin. Not too bad. And our refractor is going to be a Rayan Turkey for Olympique Leonis. I'm not the biggest soccer fan, so when I pronounce these, I apologize. And let's check out our final pack of Merlin soccer. We've just got our last 
Aqua Parallel, that's going to be an Eduardo Camavinga. We've got a Daka. We do have a Pogba. We'll take that. We have a Leslie Ugo Chukwu. Now, this is actually a great card. I pulled the retail orange to 25 of this card. I will actually... Oh, and here we go. The Aqua Parallel of Zlatan Ibramovic. That is a big hit. Hell yeah. That's nice. So in another video, if you guys want, if this picks up traction, I'll uh, show off some of my collection. So now that we have that, we'll put our base aside. We'll hold on to all of these to be sleeved afterwards. So we will put these all together. And a lot of you are like, oh my God, you're mixing shit up. I organize afterwards. No worries. Now our last pack. Now this is my first time opening Bowman Platinum for this year. So let's uh, let's try it out. And if you want, there's the hits. You can pull a lot. You can pull a lot. So, let's get into it. Now, I'm not sure if these are chrome or paper cards, to be completely honest. Um, again, this is my first time opening Bowman Platinum. So let's take a look. All right, so they're a little bit of a mix. So we've got a Trey Turner, Emmanuel Rodriguez. We've got a CJ Abrams numbered to 299. Not too bad. It's a nice green parallel. T.J. Abrams. Hopefully we didn't just pull the big hit. First things first. We've got a rookie MJ Melendez. Now I'm a Detroit guy, so I'm looking for that torque bomb. Jordan Lawler. We have a silver Alaris Montero. So we'll check that out. Just a nice silver, non numbered. We have a Jake Berger and a JD Martinez. Dude was quite the steal for Detroit when we got him. Went from a nobody to a somebody. Ah, oh, there's another Detroiter. We got a Matt Manning. Nice rookie card. Got an Andrew Painter. Now that looks like it is a retro. Oh, he is. He looks so old. This looks like an old ass photo. We have an insert of Francisco Alvarez. Let's take a look at that. It's a cool looking insert. And then our last one of the pack is a Seth Beer. So this is fun. I like this. I don't think I'm going to open any more of Platinum, but it is a fun looking set. We have an Andrew Vaughn, Ryan Mountcastle. We do have a Khalil Watson. We have a Sal Frelick and a Charlie Blackman. So that Sal Frelick is going to be a parallel. <laughs> Looks like it's just a silver. I don't know what they're calling that. So we'll move that to the side. So we've got three more packs and then this break is open. And then this break is done. 
first one I've ever done. So thanks for joining me, guys. I think I'm going to keep doing this because I just opened so much. I might as well share it, let you all see what I do. And uh, I enjoy watching videos when I'm passing time. So anytime I can find something new and fun, why not, why not add to it? We've got a Shohei Otani, a Christian Roa. We've got a renowned rookies, Seiya Suzuki. And I like how they just kind of low-key put that rookie logo right in there. Doesn't really fit in the O. Now it looks like an S, but I'm not designing them. And a JP Spears. Not bad. All right, three packs left. We can keep this puppy rolling. If you guys have any tips, let me know. I'm just filming on my phone. I'll do all this up once I get it going. I'll make a little, a little stage for everything. Got a Salvador Perez for Kansas City. All right, we got a nice O'Neill Cruz. I actually pulled. And we've got a George Kirby. I pulled an O'Neill Cruz. Uh, Variation Redemption out of uh, Topps Gallery a month or so ago. So I'm waiting for that to come in. We'll see if what happens with that. All right, two packs left. Let's see if we can find an auto or something cool. If not, that 199 parallel might be the only one. So now we've got Gavin Sheets. Oslevi's Bazabe. We've got an insert of Anthony Volpe. And then a Dansby Swanson. So some of the parallels, some of the inserts are pretty cool. Nothing crazy. Um, you know, it's paper, so it's not the highest stock card. But it's not the worst, so we'll take it. All right, last pack. See if we can get some magic. See if we can get something cool. Looks like we'll just have a couple parallels. Another Salvador Perez. Starlin Aguilar. And then the last card is a Rafael Davies. So the Starlin's not bad. No, he hasn't really played yet. So we'll see. It's not a rookie. I don't know. He hasn't played yet. So I would assume this would be essentially what a prospect is. But not too shabby. So that's the break. It was fun. Got a lot of... Uh, base cards got some cool cards to keep i would say our top pulls from this would be the trey fix wolanski young gun our cj abrams 134 of 299 on the rookie variation not bad then we've got the zlatan aqua parallel on the tops, Merlin. And then lastly, the UD Canvas, Andre Vasilevsky. That's a nice looking card. And if you guys bear with me, I'll show you some of my uh, big retail hits because I'm mainly a retail breaker. Um, you know, I'm paycheck to paycheck, so I buy what I can afford at the time. I can't really do $600 boxes, $700 boxes. Um, you know, I'm into Pokemon. I'm into sports. But we do a lot of everything. So I'll just go through really quickly. You know, I've pulled the Cole Caulfield Young Gun. 
Got the Lucas Raymond year one to go with the year two I just pulled. We've got a rookie Phenoms, Jamar Chase out of Optic. That was fun. You know, I've pulled a lot of... I'm big on hockey, so let me just show you right here. Just going through all my stuff right now. Why not? Got the UD Canvas Joe Valeno Young Gun. I've got two Spencer Knight Young Guns. We've got the Quentin Byfield. We've got the William Eklund Young Gun. We've got the Rasmus Kapari Young Gun Canvas. Young Gun Canvases are my favorite personally. Let's see what else we got. Now I've got Pulled this, the sc blue scope, Justin Fields, the silver variation, Trevor Lawrence. I've pulled from retail, a Genesis Mosaic, Martin Odegaard. That was an exciting pull. Got some more young guns. These are two of my bigger ones. We've got the Trevor Zegers young gun and one of the cards that got me back into it, 2000, I believe this was 18, 2019, 20, right before, right before uh, COVID struck us, the Nick Suzuki Young Gun Canvas. Do a lot of baseball, do a lot of Pokemon. You know, I've Got a Miles McBride, Great Significance rookie. I pulled this out of a, a hanger pack that I bought on sale from my local GameStop. I remember this like it was yesterday. That was a fun card. Let's see. I've done a lot of baseball, you know. Some Bowman Chrome first autos. Daryl Hernandez and Eduardo Vaughn. Going through my top cards right now. We'll see what I've got. Some of my monster hits right here. You know, these are the cards that I've hit and they mean a lot to me. And that would be stuff like this Julio Rodriguez, 35 of 75 yellow refractor. Prospect Bowman out of last year. It was a, a Target Mega Box. We've got the Pink Camo NBA debut, Anthony Edwards. I've got a Lars Newt Bar Vintage Stock Tops Rookie Card to 99. That is 22 of 99. That was a fun pack out of a hanger. I've got the Pink Camo Lamello Ball Rookie Mosaic. Got the Green Prism Rookie Card Lamello Ball. Now these are all personal hits out of retail. Nothing was bought that I'm showing you right now. I have purchased some cards, but none of those were were uh, were from that. So then when I put those away. I'll show you some more. And if you guys want to see the Pokemon, I'll show you. But I'm not going to bore you if you don't want it. A lot of y'all like sports, so that's what we're going to do. And, you know, for me, I I, I top load and I mag things that may be valuable, but are valuable to me personally. That's how I determine what gets top loaded, what goes into mag cases, and what just gets penny sleeved or just, you know, put into storage bins and forgotten about, probably. Because I'm sure I've got a lot more I'd love to show you guys, but I can't think of it at the moment. So... Let's just do that. 
So next, these were some cool hits. Nothing crazy, but I enjoyed them. So I figured I'll show them off to you guys. We have this Tom Brady checkerboard select from 2020, his first year with the Buccaneers. They ended up going on to win the Super Bowl that year. And then this, the Colson Montgomery, 50 of 99. First Bowman Chrome. This is a first, but because it's from the Mojo, they did not have the first on those, but it is a Bowman first because his other autos from this same set do have the first if they weren't from the Mojo set, which were two packs you could get in the mega boxes of Bowman Chrome. So it was kind of go big or go home when you were buying those packs because you either hit something like that or you hit a whole lot of nothing. And so the last cards I'll show you, we'll see what I've got. I know I've got some other big hitters in here. Just a matter of finding them. Here they are. It's only a couple, but oh, they're cool to me, so I like showing them off. I thought you guys would like them too. I'm a Detroiter, so a few of my cards are big Detroit cards. But I'll show you some of the other Merlins that I've hit, because I've opened a lot of Merlin. And, you know, it's just, it's fun. I've pulled quite a few autos in my day, so we'll just go through those. I've got a, a whole lot, and then I'll show you some cool things, and this will be it. You know, I'm a Detroiter, so for me, I collect Detroit when I can. So, for those of you that don't remember, I've got the Upper Deck MVP Rookie Darko Milicic in great condition. The centering is beautiful, corners are beautiful. Man, what a dud couple other retail autos, Spencer Watkins, pulled an Aiden Hutchinson, 22 of 449, pulled a Jonathan Allen, 12 of 25, pulled a Kessler Edwards rookie ticket, a Mark Hanna, Topps Chrome, we've got an Alex Manoa gallery, I pulled the Silver Evan Mobley Select, a John Heasley Auto Rookie Card to 99. That is 80 of 99. Got an Anton Lundell Young Guns. And then here's some of my mosaics. So I'll start with those. So I'll retail. I pulled a Charlie Savage Rookie Merlin to 75 that was exciting in that same box in the same pack right behind it was this Mikel Oyarzabal 35 of 50 on the freaking I don't know if you want to call that bronze or gold but looking nice Centering is atrocious, but you know, you take what you got. You got to be grateful you pulled something. So when you get bad centering or you get bad corners, it is what it is. You got tons of people handling these cards, especially when there's autos involved. Human error is human error. It's going to exist. There's nothing you can do about it. Next one, I pulled a to 75 Paulo Dybala. This is a cool looking card. I just like the parallel design. Then my biggest one was this Leslie Ugochukwu rookie card. 11 of 25. Now I think this card's pretty neat because my birthday falls on the 25th. My big bro's birthday falls on the 11th. So 
it's only fitting that he's first and I'm second, 11 of 25. We're both born in the same month. So I just, even if this car is not worth much, it might be like 40 to 60 to $70. This is priceless for me because of the numbering. It just, it means a lot to me. And then I would say my coolest hit to date was this Wander Franco Refractor rookie card. You hear my, my boy Marco up there hooting and hollering. This was an awesome card. So that's it, guys. That's some of my retail card collection. You saw me rip some cards. And I think, you know, I open about once, twice a week, sometimes more if I'm feeling like a savage. And uh, I think I'm going to start recording and uploading. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. This channel gets going. You know, I, I don't think I'll ever do live breaks or buy-in breaks. I think that's a little too much for me, but I think there's a community out there that likes to just watch people rip and see what they pull and talk about what they pull. So if you guys are opening any of this and you're getting crazy pulls or you're having bad luck, let me know. Let's talk about it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see Pokemon, I've got a nice Pokemon collection. You know, I'm a 90s baby, so I've been doing Pokemon my whole life. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Like, comment. If you want to find me on Instagram, it's pokeypull underscore, P-O-K-E-P-U-L-L -L underscore. And uh, yeah, thanks guys.